Where are they guys? Boxing Day. Happy Boxing Day, if that's a thing for you. I don't know what it means. It's all silly. Anyway, we're going to have the Brown Brothers Sienna. It's only 8%. Light red. Good Boxing Day red. You're kidding. We're maybe go and watch a bit of the test. Melbourne test. Glad it wasn't washed out. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Salado. I'm going to try that. Good with the bickies. We've been having bickies with crumbly cheese and double brie and the cherry jam or jelly. Yum. So good. Bit of ham. What was the ham? Special ham. Manuka. Manuka honey ham. Never had that, that before. Mm. Cheers, guys. Mmm. It was like 22 degrees before and about 90% humidity. It felt like it was 26. All of a sudden a storm came. We just had a big storm and uh, dropped at 16. But this is just peekaboo. This tastes delicious. What do you think of that? Very nice. Mum would like that. That's one of the sweetest reds you've ever had. Best served chill. Sienna, drink me. 2022 vintage, 8%. Refreshingly bright with sweet summer berry character. Perfect red wine for summer. Enjoy chilled. Good with red meat, spicy dishes and dark chocolate. Well, I might have tacos later. We might have chili con carne tacos and we've got some marinated pork. I might make up another little dish with that. So we've got pork and chicken tacos. Or make, no, the beef, isn't it? The chili con carne beef and pork tacos. That'd be nice. What do you think? I reckon that's lovely. Great for summer, great lunchtime wine, up a step from Moscato, which is usually 5 6%. Mm -hmm. Which I can drop a bottle of that for lunch and go back to work like all of us could. <laughs> it's nothing. But this is starting to get a bit kicky. Yeah. But you can't really drink like 14 15% red wines on a hot day. Yeah. They just smash you around. Better off with something like this. I could drink that. That'd be a good Barbie wine, I reckon. Get the missus to buy a case of that. A case. I remember once we're in... We're staying in Maynard, which is out the back of Mullumbimby, northern New South Wales. And we didn't know what to drink. When you're up there, there's different beers, different wines available, different spirits available, and different prices. And we stayed there for months, and we just went through all the different things, and we ended up on Lambrusco. It was hot, but the Lambrusco was just peekaboo. Similar to this, not a sweetener, but very similar. And we were buying bottles of it and bottles of it. And then the owner of the bottle shop, the Mullumbimby pub, he went and bought a, a full pallet load. Pallet. He had like a thousand bottles. What? And then we both left. We went to Thailand. And I went back afterwards, we went to Thailand for like six weeks. And then when, when we came back, I come back to Melbourne and then I went back up there. So it was like two months later and he had Lambrusco on special. Yeah. He's stuck with a whole fucking pallet. We bought heat. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, we're back on board. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was even better. It was cheaper. <laughs> what a classic. Yeah, well, a good chilled red wine, guys. I love it. That's really refreshing. Really lovely. You could drink that all day in Italy. Hot weather, you don't want to be drinking those rich wines. Even like a 12 and a half, 13% white wine in the hot sun. Knocks you around like something like this, 8%. It's like having beer. Even just a few 8% IPAs or you know, double IPAs on a hot day, it can smash you. Take care, fellas. Don't get too smashed. Thinking of getting a GoPro, fucking off the phone, and going back on the landline and getting an answering machine, and pissing off all these fucking scam calls. I'm getting them every day. There's like ten of them. That's just I'm sick of it. And then if you haven't got a smartphone, they can't track you. So it's looking better and better every second. Get rid of the fucking phone. I don't need it anymore. People aren't calling me for emergencies anymore. Don't have my business. I had people ring up, oh, the switchboard's on fire. Mm. The light fitting's on fire. <gasps> oh, yeah, I mean, it's, I've been on jobs when light fittings were just fixed. When I mean fixed, we just put new tubes and starters. The next minute, the fucking thing's on fire because the ballast hasn't been working for ages because the tube's gone. And somehow it doesn't, it shit itself and it's on fire. I've got to get the scaffold back across to the fire and put it out. Yeah, I've had jobs like that. That was in a chocolate factory at Karen. Yeah, it was a Thai woman. She married this Maori guy and they, he was gung-ho. He had this chocolate factory and another business and this beautiful house in Frankston on the hill. Overlooking the ocean. Yeah. You went there with me, I think, once when you were a little kid. She had a daughter of a similar age to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and her husband went across. She was from Nakon Sawan, I'm pretty sure. That's where I was a monk for a while. I was there for a couple of weeks. And anyway, a hubby flew over after work and full week. Big over time, and then on the way up to Nakon Sawan driving, he crashed and died. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty horrific. So, overwork, stressing out, driving in a different country, it's not going to be good. Don't do it. Take it easy, guys. Look after yourself. Don't risk it. I had a bus driver once. He started going to sleep and going off the road, and I woke him up. And I said to him, pull over the next stop. And I stayed with him and talked to him, keeping him awake, because he was buggered. He'd worked like 27 hours straight, up and down to Chiang Mai twice or something. We pulled over at this noodle soup joint, I bought him a noodle soup and I bought him a lipo to wake him up, you know the energy drink, mm. lipo vitan, same as a cradding dang which is a red bull, so I bought him that and we sat with him, we had a soup as well, and next minute he didn't eat, well he had a bit of the soup, mostly the liquid only, mm. next minute he's poured half the lipo in the soup mm -hmm. and then he's poured white powder into the rest of the lipo in the bottle and drank it and then he was fine and was back on the speed or the ice or whatever it was mm -hmm. and he drove all right. But we nearly died. We're going head on into a truck and I woke him up. Yeah, because I'm like that. I've stopped many accidents because I'm observant. I'm going to just sit in the back and just think, oh, yeah, 
all good, we'll get there. Mm. Nah, I'll watch the road and if something goes wrong, my old man was knackered after water skiing all day. Big drive in the morning up there, you know, load the boat up, water ski all day, drink on the piss, barbecue, cooking, eating, water skiing. Next minute he's on the way home, boat on the back, he started going to sleep and he was drifting across towards a truck. And I went, hey! And he woke up and we just missed the truck. Oh my God. And this has happened all the time during my life. I've nearly died so many times. It's ridiculous. I can't believe it. I should be dead. Sharks, white pointers, you name it, car crashes, motorbike crashes, ski, water and snow skiing crashes. Could have died many times. Mm -hmm. Up in the Alps, blizzard condition, wide out, off the track, lost, and stuck in powder snow, like six feet deep, and stuck inside a tree. Like, gone. Blizzard condition, you can't see up and down, you, don't, you lose your whole balance, you lose everything because you can't see where's up or down, you can't get a point of reference, it's just white, it's a white out. Yeah. Yeah, nearly died up there. Minus seven, but at 60 knot wind. Mm -hmm. So up the top, we went to the summit, stupid, they shut it down not long after we went there. Mate, it was so fucking cold. You couldn't believe how cold that was. The, the wind factor, chill, wind chill factor is what kills people. It goes straight through you, through to your bone, just chills you to the core. Mm. Yeah, you got to watch it. Anyway, that's the Sienna, guys. I love this. It was a bit of a sweetie. Probably one of the sweetest reds you'll get. Don't you reckon? There's not many sweeter reds than that, is there? Yeah. You have to go fortified to get sweeter. Mm -hmm. No, it's lovely, guys. I'm enjoying it. Happy Boxing Day. All the best. And uh, catch you on the next one. Fucking kid me.